Hey guys, it's Halo Attic 3 with my newest Halo figure. This video is for the Halo 1 Comet Evolved Master Chief from the Halo Anniversary figures. Uh, after 10 years of Halo, they come out with the Halo Anniversary series. So it's like, I guess, their best figures that they've ever made in all of figure history in the world that we live in that was uh, brought back to life by the forerunners but on the bright side uh... so yeah the figure came with a piece to this plaque and some of the figures he came with uh... with dutch and master chief he could create the easy difficulty symbol which i have right here that's unfortunately that might actually be as far as I'm gonna get because some of the figures are repeats or very similar to other figures that I already have like Cortana I think it's an exact repeat and she comes with one of the knives that you can use to create the heroic symbol so the farthest I think I'm going to get is normal and if anything I might get the legendary skull from the grunt but I doubt it because I already have two runs from the Halo 3 figures and it looks just exactly like that. One, one second. What the hell are you doing in my room, little thing? Oh, where'd you go? Sorry, little bug. Okay, so, uh... So, the farthest I expect to get is normal, if anything, but for now I'm sticking at uh easy so anyways with the figure the most important part in the video this is the halo one common evolved master chief and you can you will notice what i noticed about it is that instead of being the size of the halo three figures it's actually a little bit taller than even the halo reach figures look i will give you a comparison i always do these comparisons for some reason just to find out where I can classify the figure. There's a Halo Reach. And it's kind of funny because they have the same helmet. He's taller by... If these guys were life-size, it'd be maybe like a few inches. So, I'm not sure how to classify the Master Chief. This Master Chief. Like... Halo Reach and a half, I guess? Because he's larger than the Halo Reach figures. Definitely larger than the Halo 3 figures. But, you know, not as big as this Halo 1 Master Chief. So, uh, he's kind of... I guess he'd go under Halo Reach. Under the Halo Reach figure classification. I don't know, because the Dutch figure, he is the size of the Halo 3 ODSTs, not the Halo Reach ODST that they have released. But, so yeah, I'm a little puzzled on where to classify this guy. But anyways, on with the figure. He's a pretty basic figure. I don't care if he doesn't have too much detail onto him. I remember one of, uh, I was watching a friend's review on him. He said he had battle damage. I can't find too much on him. I, I mean, I see some scratches and stuff, but I thought he meant, like, a lot of, like, a lot of, like, torn metal, shredded, silvery metal, like he slid and stuff, and maybe plasma burns, scorch marks all over. But he looks like he wasn't banged up too bad. Like, he was maybe in a few firefights with the Covenant, but definitely not a brutal mashup with a Brute Chieftain and three Elites with Energy Swords <laughs> and all of that. Uh, another thing I found a little odd about the figure was he came with a Halo 3 figure assault rifle instead of the Halo 1 assault rifle, which is somewhat like this. Uh... I remember this Halo 3 figure had an assault rifle 
like this. The Halo Wars, uh, I believe this, I actually forgot the name, Red Team Leader. Red Team Leader? I don't know, I don't know Halo Wars very well. But you'll notice that the assault rifle is more like the Halo 1 assault rifle on this figure. It's I found it a little odd, but I'm definitely okay with it because <clears throat> because you can hold it properly at either way. So yeah, definitely good. Now, as I said about the battle damage, there is a little bit. You can see some scratches on the chest there, but you have to kind of look really close. While I was turning it, I was kind of like, oh, maybe I am wrong because I found this right here. Little dent, little scratch in the armor right there. Uh, not much else though. So yeah, battle damage not too much. Uh, I already told you about the size of the figure. Larger, slightly larger than the Halo Reach figures. Uh, one thing I found a little weird about him too was that uh, you might notice on the visor as he turns, his visor isn't like entirely smooth smoothed out it's kind of like it's made of it's made up of a bunch of small square golden panels as the rest of the figure is like the figure isn't rounded smoothed out surfaces to in my opinion I forgot what the word was my, the same friend used the word in his video it's like that uh, the paper stuff that people make the helmets out of it's a little similar to that like you'll notice the armor has like no rounded edges no rounded like the legs they're very bumpy and they're made up of like completely flat surfaces same with the rest of the figure his little uh, ammunition belt there and it came with uh, frag grenades well no one frag grenade to be exact uh, so yeah, he I for some reason though, I'm just addicted to how awesome the figure looks. Like I always just I'm like man, and I'll just sit in front of it, and I will just look in awe. That is an awesome figure. I don't know why, but that is an awesome figure, <laughs> and I just laugh. I mean, it's a great figure. Definitely get this figure. Uh, so, for movement, the shoulder pads kind of prevent some, but you don't need to move his arm in this direction too much anyways. So, just move his arm in. Same problem with this arm. Slightly limited on this movement. The elbow and forearm move pretty good, too. They make that really loud clicking noise. Wrist, same deal, very mobile. Uh, his fingers are a little stiff, but that's okay because the assault rifle slides perfectly in. And it makes the perfect fit. I mean, it doesn't look perfect holding it, but you could definitely tell. if You, you could definitely put him in, a, in an aiming position instead of just like a relaxed position like he can only do with some figures uh... his legs a little less mm, movement there knees very good knees down feet epic i really like these boots on the figure for some reason and oh well, this one this leg I've been having trouble with a little bit I'm trying to move it to a different position so his foot can move like this while here in this spot but ah whatever definitely not a problem for me so uh, oh yeah head also very good uh, that's about it. So yeah, definitely a good figure. Definitely get him. Thanks for watching.